Hey folks, I'm going to try to restore the, the, the canopy, it's disgusting, back to its original state. Too. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This canopy right here, I've had it in my inventory for some years. We have just not used it on the pickup for some time because we had the fifth wheel hitch mounted in this truck. We finally got the truck up and running because it has been broken down for a while. And there's only two more things I need to do on this truck. That's brakes and front end alignment. But I want to take this canopy. My son's home for the weekend, so he helped me load this. I need to clean it up. It's gross. So I'm going to use my pressure washer I got from Harbor Freight and we're going to uh, initially start with pressure washing the whole surface inside and outside and then we're going to collect some material to restore the fiberglass and polish it and shine it up and preserve it. Now this is practice for restoring an old boat that was given me. So um, let's get this thing on, get it started, and try to get it clean.
Okay, we're back on the next step of restoring this uh, canopy. Uh, we pressured washed it and we got all the bulk of the stuff off, but there's little stains on here, mildew restains. So I get this Starbright mildew stain remover I picked up from Walmart. And the instruction says just spray it on, let it set until the uh, spots and stains are uh, disappear and removed, then thoroughly rinse it. So let's give it a try and see if it really works. I don't know if the camera can pick up these stains. You just spray that on. I don't see it working, but if I just rub it in. <laughs> Listen, I don't know if you could see that on camera because my little screen on the camera is not good enough. It may show up better. Those spots are gone. It did exactly as it instructed to. Now it says to rinse. So let's get this rinsed off. Okay, my next step is I'm gonna do a boat wash on this material. And it's same company, Starbright, and it's four caps of the solution to a gallon of water is the ratio. So I got my bucket mixed up. We're gonna go ahead and wash the surface and then spray it down. Okay, going on to the next phase of the uh, canopy restoration, we're going to deoxidize it with this uh, Starbright Premium Cleaner Wax. Uh, it, because we're going to remove it and then we're going to seal it with a polish. So let's get this wax on. The direction calls for it to shake well. And I bought some new cloths, so we're going to apply this to these claws that's what it looks like Ooh, that's coming out really nice
Okay, it's time to put the polish on and for this I'm going to use this uh, Meguiar's uh, Quick Wax Shine. I uh, just shake it up really good as the instruction says. And use a, mi they, they prefer using a microfiber towel so I got uh, a pack of four. We're just going to mist this on here and wipe it in. And flip the towel over to buff it. And we've, we're getting a shine. Oh, that's a nice smooth shine and now it's going to protect it. We restored it back to its, uh, well close to its original finish. And so now it's going to last me several more years and it's going to look nice too. So this gives me a uh, idea and what to look forward to when I go start redoing that boat, restoring that boat that was given me. Uh, just using this material and using the solutions that I did to try to bring this back to uh, Pretty close to its original state. It's got a nice shine on. We used four steps. We actually five because we pressure washed it first and then we applied those four other ingredients. Stay tuned to more videos and step two on the renovation. I have to uh, repair the back door and then I've got to put a tape foam padding on here and then I also have to put, uh, get the trim pieces that cover this I have to order those so we're going to you know try to get this totally restored I'm your host Jerry Hansen and this is the end conclusion of part one or step one in uh, renovating the canopy for my Chevy one ton dually please stay tuned to more videos you could do that by subscribing and giving us a, uh, a like Click that share button, sharing our videos on your social media platforms helps us out. Leave a comment if you will. Always remember, be safe and always be kind. It's 100 degrees out right now. I'm heading into the shade. You guys be safe. Stay cool. Bye-bye.